Hi, and welcome back to another installment of Stories Behind the Dooney. And today I will be doing a little bit something different, and that is to share with you all what I have in my bag. Yeah, since the start of the pandemic, I rarely carry any of my bigger bags. I'm strictly about the crossbody because it's very convenient and very quick and just so easy. But every now and then, depends on where I'm going, I will pull out one of my specially selected bags for the occasion because I'm not anywhere pretty long anyway. I work from home, so I'm good. So today's bag that I will be sharing what's inside of it happens to be the pebble grain drawstring bag in the color spearmint and i did do an unboxing video of this so please go back and look up that and watch that video and i also want to take the time out to welcome back my subscribers i am so elated to have you a part of my my viewing audience it, it means a lot to me because i really didn't think i could do this i have been private most of my life about any and everything that i've done and so just to step outside the box and do this i'm so grateful um for you all taking out the time to just really be a part of my page and viewing so thank you so much don't forget to like the video share with others set up your notifications if you're just that interested and just continue to tune in so let's go ahead and get going with what's in this bag uh i've had this bag now for probably about two months this bag has been out for an over a year i believe and i just stepped out on something different i'm really like all of my bags lately have been just totally out of my comfort zones so i was really attracted to this color spearmint and i've been getting a lot of different accessories to match with it so let's go ahead and open her up all right so let's look and see what all is in there i try to be organized i'm learning i'm really learning and so right now this is way the way it looks so let's go through and take some of this stuff out so first off let's see here the one thing that does not necessarily match, but it matches, is my wallet. You can't go wrong with some orange and some, some blue-greenish color going together. I think that's really springish color, really summery. It's cute. The other reason is this. I do have a spearmint wallet. And when I looked at this, and I looked at this one, I said, I'm probably going overboard with the color spearmint. So I decided to just stick with this and I think it goes great. I didn't have to worry about switching everything out. I'm happy with that. And as you see, I have it hooked to my key reminder, as I like to call it, because I just need to hurry up and grab it and go. I also have this pouch and I'm going to come back to that momentarily to let you know what's in here. Also, I have my cosmetic bag. This cosmetic bag was a freebie from the Orlando um, Dooney Outlet Store back in 2017 when I went. And so, yeah, to me, this goes with any and everything, or it will go with any and everything. So, I have plenty of selections of different lipsticks and whatnot in here. Hey, on the go, you see something? Everybody seems to have their tripod. I have mine, my flexible tripod. Hook my phone up and do some recording that way. So I have that in here. Also, I need to keep these eyebrows brushed. <laughs> and so I have my Sephora eyebrow kit. If you don't have this in your life, I highly suggest that you do. It is a nice pouch that has a lovely mirror your scissors and your selections of your brushes for either applying your makeup or brushing your eyebrows or even plucking I'm trying to go back to that even you know having to pluck some hairs and what have you so i have to have this because you know every now and then i see something that i don't like and i have to get it off <laughs> i also have 
my battery, my extra battery for my devices. This one will recharge, fully charge twice um, any device. So it may be my tablet, it may be my phone. I prefer to have this right now instead of carrying my charger because I'm not going away from the house too long. And so I have that in here. And in the slots, I do not have anything in the zipper or the slot section. I just love the inside color lining of this bag. Um, but I do have my hand sanitizer in the smaller slot and my two cell phones, my work and my personal cell phone in the larger. And they fit perfectly, perfectly. And they're able to kind of move around. It's not a snug fit, but it's just right. So let's go back. Put some of these items back in this bag. Let's go back to the pouch. All right. So I have the pouch. I definitely had to have this pouch experiment. Um, when I saw it, this was probably the second go around. The first color pouch that I have, the wristlet pouch, um, is in the color taupe. And initially they did not have this color. So they added this and I had to have it because it matched perfectly with the purse. And it wasn't an off um, color or anything like that. It was exact match. And so in my pouch, which I'm probably getting ready to convert it to a wallet because I prefer to really kind of keep everything in one space. But in here, I have several little items. I have my earbuds. So I carry that. Got to have you some lotion because all this sanitizing will dry out your hands, people. And this is a good body cream or butter cream or what have you. I have a lot of different ones that I, I choose to carry and so right now it's that because it's a nice scent. I have my cocoa butter swivel stick. You've got to keep your lips moisturized in this winter winter weather. Um, If you're able to find this. Lysol, Lysol to go. I've been carrying this for years and I actually found this in another bag because for a while they weren't in the stores and so I am carrying this just in case so I had to spray some things down. Now this is actually a no-no for me but it's in another bag and I actually need to find my little pouch um, and I will showcase that it's not a Dooney pouch, but I really need to keep my pins or try to keep my pins in that pouch instead of have them naked in something with a lining like this. Because um, you just never know. You know, things move. You think that the top is on there snug and it'll come off and then ink is everywhere and then your item is ruined. It really is truly ruined. So um, I don't like to practice having these out just out like that. But I have nothing in the slots, nothing in the zippers just yet, and nothing in the uh, credit card slots because, hey, I do have my little wallet that I'm utilizing. And so right now, that is what I have in my bag of choice. Let me make sure I put everything back. Um, I'm probably getting ready to switch out to something else anyway. I don't have a store run this week, so I don't really need my crossbody. But the little errands that I've had to run, hey, this is a perfect, perfect bag. And it's not weighed down and heavy at all. It really isn't. And so that is it. This is my bag. I love it, love it, love it. The only thing I don't really necessarily like is the clanking of this. If I could just take the D off or the B off or what have you. But it's cute. It's really cute. And hey, I'm rocking it. I love it. I really do love it. So, that's in what's in my bag. Please tune in because I do have my Florentine um, satchel as well as a couple backpacks. And all of these things that I will be showcasing and showing what's in my bag. So, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all later.